So working on upgrading my shop, I bought this jet table saw and super excited about it, but there's one problem. It does not come with a cord and there are no videos that I could find on attaching the cord. So I'm going to do a video on that. This is a jet exacta, but really any of these 220 table saws don't come with power cords. So here's how to do that. The first step is here. The reason these don't come with power cords is because all the outlets are different. There are three or four different configurations for 220 power. You need to know which one you have in your house. I have this one that looks like an upside down winky eye. So I bought this 20 amp 250 volt Leviton plug. Looks like that. I'm a novice at electricity. I've done some electricity work, made some new outlets for my house put in light switches, things like that. But what really threw me for a loop on this Leviton plug was the hookups on the inside. I'm gonna take it apart and show you what I mean. I bought this cord, length of cord by length at Ace Hardware. What's really great about that is I was able to name exactly how long I wanted my power cord. And since the sky was the limit, except for price at $1.30 a foot, I decided to get 15 feet. Now, the downside to that is I also like unplugging my table saw when I change blades. And that means that I've got to walk through this crowded, dirty shop to get the outlet on the wall. Of course, now that I have this new table saw, I'm probably going to do some cleanup and reorganize the shop. What threw me for a loop at first was this. Usually a plug and outlets have a silver screw and a gold screw the silver screw for the white wire the gold screw for the black wire this one has two gold screws not knowing which was positive and not knowing which was negative i had to do a bit of research and oddly it is impossible to find anything out so i actually after looking through youtube through google for a couple of hours was able to get a hold of an electrician friend who said the reason both screws are gold is there is no negative power on 220 so it doesn't matter which cord you hook up to which screw doesn't matter at all uh, so that's good to know just hook the green cord up to the green screw and the two power cords can go anywhere they want to of course the other part of this project is hooking that cord up to the other end and that is here this little breaker box on the side has a hole for accepting the cord and I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. So before attaching the cords, uh, there was a green cord here, a black cord and a white cord. And the black cord attaches to this screw, the white cord attaches to that screw, and the green cord attaches to the nut. Uh, because there are so many other screws, I was unsure of which screw to put them in. So the black cord goes in here. So obviously one of these other three screws will accept the black cord. Talking to my electrician friend, he said to put the black cord and hook it into right below the other black cord and the white cord right below the other white cord. Put the green cord on the nut with the other one and that should do it. Now for the moment of truth, got the blade raised. Time to see what this will do. And action. Everything cooked up properly. Could not be more pleased with this saw. Really good, really good buy. I'm glad I spent the money on it. Finally, after all these years, I ran a few boards through it last night just to test it out. Works perfectly. I hope this will help you if you buy one of these saws or any other kind of saw with 220 power and get that cord and be able to hook it up.